Edward is asking what difference between a, a traditional and a tweed kilt is. Um, mm. Since we are seeing a lot more images of them online of late, <clears throat> especially tweed kilts. Did he ask that question to us earlier? Okay. All right. Um, there is... You're, you're mixing two things. You're mixing traditional kilt and tweed kilt. You can have a tweed, a traditional tweed kilt, meaning a traditionally tailored kilt that happens to be made from tweed cloth. Mm -hmm. I have a traditionally tailored kilt that is made from wool tartan cloth. Um, tweed has been around as a fabric for quite a long time, um, especially woven in the Outer Hebrides. Um, there's a, uh, one of the Maclay prints is of John Brown. Yep. Wearing, Maclay uh, was an artist who painted a bunch of different Highland clans, uh, a, a member of Highland clans. When were the paintings from? 1800s, was it? Well, it's uh, 1870s, I think is, no, 1880, like 1882, 1884, somewhere in there is the published date of the, uh, the Highland clans. Okay. Which is the commission book he did for Queen Victoria. Okay. Yep. But, I think. I'll yeah, double check that. But at least one of those prints um, is John Brown, which is a famous Scot, in a tweed outfit with a plaid day plate over his right arm. So tweed kilts and tweed jackets have been around for a long, long time. Remember, this isn't just about clans. It's about the kilt. And if you're in the middle of nowhere, it's also about fashion. And if you're in the middle of nowhere and your tailor has a really cool looking tweed, they were, we, we tend to romanticize things and say, this is how it was. This is the only way it was ever. Um, but it's not necessarily true. They were people just like we are. They enjoyed fashion just like we do. Not necessarily to the same degree because clothes were much more expensive a commodity, but they would enjoy fashion as well. So if somebody walks into his tailor's and the tailor goes, wow, look at this tweet I just got. And the guy gets say, you know, the wild hair and says, hey, you know what? I really like that tweed. I want a tweed killed out of that. Yeah, make me a kill. The guy would say, okay, fine, and make him a killed out of it. So it does have, and, and tweed is a very Scottish product. Yeah. So it does have some historical precedent. It wasn't widely popular, but yes, it was done. Yes, there were photos and paintings of gents in the Highlands and in Scotland wearing tweed kilts. Mm -hmm. So it is... And that was more of a, again, of a fashion-y kind of thing, mm -hmm. but it was done. It's not nearly as popular for kilts as tartans, but it was done. Yep. Um, and some of the kilts which we perceive as being solid color, uh, like completely monochrome, would from a technical standpoint still be a tweed because we're talking about the, you know, the, the weave of the fabric and how the fabric is produced. Um, or you might see an image of what looks to be a solid color kilt uh, but it's a painting or a photograph or, you know, a, a sepia tone photograph, something, you know, an old um, 19th century thing, and you can't see the pattern because it's very, very subtle and it's just been lost in the imagery. So, um, yeah, if you have a hankering to wear a solid color kilt or a tweed kilt, you're not being untraditional. It's not a modern thing. Unlike the weather tartans we were just talking about, a, a tweed kilt is actually very, very traditional, at least going back to the Victorian times, and probably earlier than that, just not documented. Yeah, the yeah. thing, uh, the thing I would say about tweed kilts, however, um, I've owned a couple tweed kilts. The one thing that you you kind of have to be cognizant of is that it kind of uh, it, it kind of felt a little off to me. You, for me, when I wore my tweed kilt, I felt like I had to have on my sporran, I had to have on kilt hose. It's not as visually recognizable as tartan in a kilt, so it looks. If you're not wearing all the accoutrements, shall we say, you end up potentially looking like you have on the bottom half of a women's business suit. So for my personal taste, I always wanted to wear a, you know, a sporin with it and hose with it and that kind of thing. And I'm talking more about solid color tweeds. Yeah. If you're wearing a pattern tweed or a window chair, window pane kind of tweed, then maybe you could get away with it a little bit more relaxed. Um, or if it's a tweed tartan, which is a new kind of fad thing that's going on. Yep, which There's is a lot really cool. of a few of the companies are weaving tartans in tweeds, which has been pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's something I would just point out to be a little bit weary of if you're wearing a tweed kilt. Yeah, your mileage may vary. Yep. But yeah, and always get samples if you're not sure. Always get a swatch. 